Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to render our dumbbell uh, using the standard scanline renderer. Okay, so you can see that there is a texture and it has a bump and specular maps assigned to it and you have a nice shiny metallic dumbbell with shadows and there's a spotlight and there's also some fog effect and the light has been given a reddish tinge to it. All right. So let us see how to create this workflow. Okay. So I'm going to delete all the elements that were there in my scene and start from the basic. All right. So I just had one dumbbell. Uh, what I did was I copied the dumbbell and then rotated it 90 degrees. So one dumbbell is standing up, one is lying down. Okay. So I also have this show save frame on. All right. So you know what is going to get rendered and from standard I'll go to high quality so you can see the shadows and effects in the viewport okay so I have a material assigned to my dumbbell that's why it's looking black uh, what we need to go is go to render setup and we are going to go to output size 1280 by 720 okay and to test we are going to reduce it to 720 and it becomes 720 by 405 okay so we are going to use HDTV option the last one and make it 1280 and then type it 720 so we get 720 by 405 okay select perspective and make sure it is locked all right and then we are going to create a plane Once the plane is created, you need to make sure that your dumbbells sit on top of the plane. Okay, they can be slightly inside, but should not float in air for sure. Okay, so now we have a dumbbell and the other one. Uh, what we are going to go who is go to material editor and I have all these bunch of materials I'll delete everything all right so we will drag a standard material select the floor and assign the material to the floor assign material to selection same time go to show shaded material in the viewport drag the diffuse general bitmap and I found this material online pavement so assign that material Okay. we need to scale our tile big and when you scale it the tiles may become big so what you can do is go to modify panel and assign a UVW map modifier UVW map okay and it's planar and we have a plan uh, uh, we have a flat plane for our floor so planar works well and simply we are going to change the tiles so we're going to tile it two times and you can see that the tiles become small okay so that looks good and then if you hit the render button I already have them metal material assigned so what I'll do is I will drag a standard material and assign that to the dumbbells okay, so you'll if you assign a standard material this is what you will get 
okay so you have the two dumbbells and the floor okay what we're going to do is go to lights standard lights if it is photometric you go to st standard light and drag a target spotlight okay and you can do it in the top view or the front view simply add a light okay and then in the top view you have to decide where the shadows are going to fall so the camera is the, we are looking at the dumbbells from this angle so the light should fall we should have this lit we should not have something where the shadows are in the front we always want the shadows to be on the back side okay if you go to modify panel uh, you turn the shadows on and now you can see the shadows so you can position what is the good angle for the shadow can make the shadows big or small and then you can change the the color of the light I have used this so it would be white for you in the beginning and the hotspot and fall off can be controlled so this is fall off and this is the hotspot You can even select the target and move it around if you want to decide where your shadow, uh, the light should focus on. Then you can control the fall off, maybe less. Okay, so now once we have that, we can render and you get this effect. Uh, if you add a skylight just the skylight has to exist in the scene so you can put it anywhere and make sure that the multiplier is 0 0.05 and if you hit render you can see that the dark areas become little light so there is that fill light or a diffuse light effect now the next thing we want to do is make the dumbbell look metallic so in the material editor, we are going to go and use physical material, select the dumbbells and assign the material to selection, right click show shaded material in the viewport and if you double click this there are certain presets so if you click and say glossy paint for example you can see that the dumbbells look like oil painted with blue color and we want to make it metallic brushed brushed metal okay, and then if you hit render The dumbbells are going to look like metal also if you in your scene you will not have this so you'll have this look so you can see that the top areas are black and that is because if you hit the 8 key on the keyboard or if you go to rendering environment which is 8 you will see that I have used used a map uh, instead of a just a black color okay otherwise it would be black color and then now it will reflect the environment around it you can see that the environment is reflected in the scene ok 
okay so you can find these images online it's a HDR image so if you go to HDR heaven you can download those images from there okay now what I did was for the floor in Photoshop you can see that uh, this was our original image so I went to image mode grayscale and what we need is the dark areas to be darker and the light areas to be lighter so go to image adjustment levels and we are going to make the whites whiter and the dark darker okay so this is going to be bumped up this will become very rough so we want to make sure that we have less of that and more of these black lines okay you can also go to image adjustments curves and you can try to further get rid of that white color and bring the black lines up okay and then you save that and it is saved it over the original image so I have to go to window history and remove that ok I will save this and this is what you get after doing that so we will go back to our pavement and then in the pump section will go to bitmap and use the pavement bump okay and then if you double click the material there are maps and the bump value will be bumped up to 90 so if you render it you can get that you will get that roughness and the same material we can assign to specular level so you can see that you get those specular you can see that the floor gets that spec specular effect and then you can control the specularness by reducing it to say 60 okay so you get that shiny surface okay, you can further manipulate it okay so you have the bump and the specular effect now we are going to change the color of our light so you can try different colors say for example you can try a yellow hue can be subtle okay, and then see what kind of effect you get if you have a yellow then if you have blues or red or orange I thought this looked nice can be a little less so you can create different moods using the different colors and the last thing I did was to add some fog effect so if you go to 8 environment add a volume fog okay so if you go to add you have to select volume light and then you will have to select the 
light so So spotlight is selected and then if you render this you get a lot of fog reduce the density of it by one okay it can be further reduced to 0.5 Okay, and then you can add the irregularity by making it turbulence, noise, and add a noise of one. And you can see it creates this blotchy effect. So if you dial it down to 0.1, it okay, and then slowly increase it. Let us try 0.4. Okay, so you have that to light. Does that make any difference? So you get that turbulent light effect. Maybe the size can be small. So you have this foggy effect along with the bump specular and then the effect of light okay so you can try to change the angle a little bit and see if you find another angle better to render the thing you can see that it's slightly getting covered so move it There were fog, light, shadows, bump effect, specular effect. Okay, and then the last thing you're going to do is make it 1280 by 720, render it. and save it as a JPEG file wherever you want to save it okay. that's about it thanks